So Bill O'Reilly starts talking about uh, the Ground Zero Mosque. I, I can't do it. Okay. We'll do it live. Okay. We'll, no. we'll do it live. Fuck it. Do it live. I can, I'll write it and we'll do it live. Which, of course, we should be calling the Fox News majority shareholder funded Lower Manhattan Community Center. But that's another topic. And he says Muslims killed us on 9-11. So what does that mean? There should be no mosque there. Muslims didn't kill us on 9-11? Is that what you're saying? Excuse me, extremists. What religion were they in? What religion was Mr. McVeigh? Mr. McVeigh was an extremist as well, and he killed him. 70% of the country. I don't want to sit here. I don't want to sit here. Now, saying that is obviously, uh, it's, it's not, uh, it's not genuine. We could all think of reasons why it's not. And one that's very clear is we're, we're conflating all Muslims with this tiny minority of 17 or 19 Muslims that were involved in 9-11. Let's put that aside. More generally, it just doesn't make sense because what, what is missing from O'Reilly, O'Reilly's explanation here? The fact that the number two shareholder behind Rupert Murdoch, right, Bill O'Reilly's boss, is the guy who has put the most money into News Corporation. And it's the same person who is funding that mosque, or very, very interested in funding that mosque if it happens. I don't think it will. It doesn't mean it shouldn't. I'm just saying, hey, take it for what it is. Starting over. So the other day I'm sitting at home and I'm watching The View like I do every day. And uh, so I'm sitting there and I'm watching The View and Bill O'Reilly comes on. And no, all right, I, I guess I'm lying. I don't really watch The View. Someone sent me the clip of Bill O'Reilly coming out there and talking to Whoopi and Barbara and Joy Behar and Elizabeth Hasselbeck about the mosque, the Ground Zero Mosque, and how the Ground Zero Mosque should not be built because, quote, Muslims killed us on 9-11. Whoopi and Joy get up and they walk out. Now, it might have been shtick. I'll be honest. When somebody comes on my show and they're offensive, the last thing I think about is leaving the show. I want to stay there. Uh, it's, it's, it's radio gold. I would, the last thing I would do is leave. Let's put that aside. They come back after a pseudo apology from Bill O'Reilly where he said, if anyone felt that I was demeaning all Muslims, I apologize. If anyone felt that, Bill... I mean, we can't escape the fact that Bill's position is, I don't want to go all Rick Sanchez and start calling people bigots, but the position is offensive, right? I mean, he's conflating all Muslims with the, the small minority that was involved in 9-11. I'm from Argentina. I'm Hispanic. When I was there over the summer, I was, there was a, another person from there, another Hispanic person who attempted to mug me. Now, if I started denying other Hispanics things in the future by saying, hey, Hispanics mugged me. Hispanics mugged my family. That would be silly, would it not? But for whatever reason, Bill O'Reilly thinks his argument is a good one. Uh, after they came back on the show, the situation was just kind of awkward, and, and Bill O'Reilly stepped back a little bit, but Bill's got to admit, his position is flat-out offensive to many Muslims. And I would argue this type of thing will inflame relations between Muslims and uh, Americans and Jews and whoever else is fighting just as much or more as those Muhammad cartoons. 